We've already discussed many occasions, or technically two occasions, of things that we hate in this game. However, let's go ahead and bring back another series. Top 5 more things we love. Number 18. When you join a game like for an example Polluted Wasteland and every single one of your teammates has one of the main core towers. One has Commander, the other one Medic, the other one DJ, and then other one is just like for an example the Jester or something like that. Now this is actually pretty rare to come across since there's a lot of players who just want to put in whatever they want and just pray to god that they're or just expect that their other teammates have essentially every single tower in the game that is essentially needed in these essential game modes and it's pretty common to go into games where one of your teammates either has an example a dj and then the other one just has the most weirdest fucking hey, yo, things in the loadouts or other towers that they for whatever reason brought into this game mode but there will always be those times where whenever you get into the game or at least to like for an example badlands you have teammates who have very strong towers and also very necessary in these game modes commander and djs are one of the two biggest cores in well entire tds plans and well strategies since well with the bigger ranges and also the lower discounts for upgrades and well the boosted rate of fire literal commander and djs are a very very essential in those game modes. I don't know why I keep saying that. You know it's gonna be a good game. Number 10. When a skin you've been wanting or a golden tower you've been wanting finally appears in the daily shop. As we all know, daily shops are one of the like kind of good-ish shop, I guess, things or features in this game because it's mainly of hey, if RNG is good on your side, just like all the other stuff in this game, you might be able to get that one skin for an example in the deluxe crate that has just been a pain in the ass to get through. So as we all know, the deluxe crates and phantom crates are the only two really expensive crates in this entire game to where you literally need high RNG in order to get the exact skin you want and there's a lot of options in the deluxe crates so the chances of you getting for an example the fucking Nico DJ are very slim it really depends on how many other skins are available and if you're just like me who has a ton of them left then there's pretty much a slim to zero chances of you getting literally the skin you've been wanting especially when all the other skins are literally the exact same rarity but what's best of all is that those skins appear in the daily shop without any other rng to screw you over you can directly purchase that skin in the shop sure it is a little bit more expensive because they are charging you extra because it's like the actual skin that you've been wanting and we're not fucking you over you just gotta give me something a little bit in return and that's like a 15 percent more robux mostly and yeah it kind of does suck that it costs a bit more but hey it's better getting the skin you want directly and 100 percent guaranteed than just getting screwed over and wasting thousands upon thousands of robux getting just other jack shit or skins that you are most likely never gonna use number six when you finally be hardcore for the very first time now i actually went over to check how many people you know currently ever in existence has actually beaten hardcore and it is an incredibly astounding 400,000 players yes 400,000 have currently ever beaten it or have ever beaten hardcore which is very surprising since this game has a lot of traction and like traffic to it because there's a lot of people going on youtube searching up how to be hardcore and i know that there's like a lot of youtubers who like milk the shit out of that game mode and are essentially having their entire career based on how to basically destroy hardcore or at least beat it and let's just say one of the most biggest ones or at least biggest tractions is beating it on solo mode but anyway enough of that basically hardcore is obviously the most difficult game mode in the entire game playing it with trios it is just as difficult as pretty much like for an example playing polluted wasteland with only i don't know two people or something but there's a lot of other effects that for whatever reason the psychotic bastards and paradox actually give to the player as an example increased prices for upgrades but also placing down towers also making it to where you cannot get earn any money until you actually defeat enemies and then a bunch of other things like for an example 
um, being wave 50 as the last and final wave instead of wave 40. It just goes on and on and on for a long time and it gets pretty hectic every now and again with new bosses that have different effects like for example the fucking lead that only have armor protection all over themselves and it just goes on and on forever and is a very very difficult challenge to I'm pretty sure every single one of us but once you beat it for the very 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 first time it literally feels like you're on top of the world and well you've beaten the lord of the universe essentially number five when you get the exact skin from a robux only chest now i know we've discussed this kind of in the daily shop how that one specific robux skin is well in the shop how about a specific skin that you've really been wanting for the longest time for example in the phantom or in the deluxe crate is finally given to you and this is purely from well rng since there's those percentages that pretty much decrease your chances of getting them until you essentially get rid of the very terrible skins at first or not really terrible skins but just the skins that you really don't want until you get to the skins that you actually do want and are a lot more you know high quality it even says it right there and once you get to the part where every single skin in that crate is exactly the same rarity this is where the most RNG takes place because I mean like it's pretty much a gamble on what you're going to get next and when you get that finally finally skin that you've been wanting for so long it literally feels like a dream come true getting the exact skin you want in this game especially in these pretty expensive crates is pretty risky but also very rng based because i mean like if you don't get the skin you want then you literally either have two options either wait until the next deluxe crate you can actually get from a weekly challenge or a phantom crate from the weekly challenges or you can try to fork over some more money and hopefully increase your chances to get this skin Number one. Check this out. It's pretty obvious now that you're looking at this, but when you finally get a good oh quest, dear. I know, I know, I've been harping about this on like the community page that I do, but also like in other fucking videos I've done. But holy crap, I finally got a deluxe crate, but not just one, but two. And yes, I have fully earned the bragging rights. And holy crap, I went from four deluxe crates to six, and I feel so good about it. The chances of you getting a phantom or a deluxe crate are pretty pretty damn low especially when there's like a bunch of other crates you can get as an example a premium crate which is really not that good but i mean it is a free crate that you can get from well daily rewards but also from well the weekly rewards as well which kind of sucks since mostly you want to but I'm pretty sure mostly 80% of us, or at least 99% of us, want a deluxe or a phantom crate. And when that day finally comes to where you get a phantom or deluxe crate, holy mama, big old ball sack. Hey yo, what the fuck? Holy God! 